Welcome. Uh, we're here today with my old friend, Dean Baker, uh, a longtime economist here in, in D.C., and someone I've worked together uh, with for years. We've written, written books together and articles. Uh, I, I was particularly uh, interested in talking to Dean today because uh, just the other day, the, uh, and I blogged about this on, on the site, the, the Bank of America announced uh, a program called Own to Rent. And where had I heard that before? Well, Dean uh, started talking about that as a uh, I thought a very smart solution uh, to the housing crisis back in uh, around uh, 2007 or so. That's right, 2007. And so uh, I really wanted to get Dean in here today, in part to applaud that uh, uh, an institution is <laughs> finally implementing uh, this good idea, but also uh, so he could uh, talk about it a bit. Um, explain uh, what uh, Own to Rent's all about. Well, first off, I was really glad to hear Bank of America was doing it. I mean, I was hoping someone would finally pick up the idea. I was hoping it would be President Obama, but we'll take what we get. But anyhow, the basic idea is you have all these people hugely underwater losing their homes. So the question is, can you do something for them? And obviously, you know, people have been pushing modifications. We've made some headway on that. But the reality is most of these people are not getting homes modified, or at least they're not getting modifications that allow them to stay in the home. The idea of own for rent is you go ahead with the foreclosure, but the person gets to stay in the house after the foreclosure. We had legislation introduced in Congress that would have given them five years. The bill, the measure put through by Bank of America, it's three years. So this is, to be clear, this is not a, a, a bill. It's a, a policy that the Bank of America has announced uh, th that they're going to pursue in three states and just a pilot that they're going to uh, administer to 1,000 people. So continue. Right. So the idea is people are able to stay in their home. Again, it's three years, but this provides substantial security for people. So they're able to stay there long enough, in many cases, to get their kids to finish school, um, mm -hmm. maybe get their finances back in order so they're able to rent a better place or maybe be in a position to buy a place. Ideally, some of them might be able to buy so it back. Let's just take this apart a little bit. So you, you, you're facing foreclosure, absent an own-to-rent program, you might well just default on your loan, foreclose on your home, lose your house. What, uh, with own-to-rent, you can stay there, rent that home at market rents for uh, three years in this case. Now, what's in it for the banks? Why would they do this? Well, what's in it for them is that there's a lot of costs associated with going through that process. There's a long legal proceeding. With foreclosure. With foreclosure, yeah. So there's a long legal proceeding. It can be very expensive. Then assuming that things go well for them, they get the person out of the home. Then they're sitting there with a vacant home. It often deteriorates. Sometimes it's vandalized. Then they have to make arrangements to resell it. That's a very expensive process. Instead of that, they're able to keep someone in the home the whole time collecting rent. Mm -hmm. And then after that three-year period, it's certainly possible the market will have picked up some because right now it's not so advantageous to have another house to throw on an already glutted market. Right. So it very well could work out better for the banks going this route as well. Let's say this works. I, I think this could end up to be a successful uh, program, I suspect you, you would agree. What do you think would happen next? Would the bank, perhaps Bank of America, others expand this, uh, more states, more people, take the pilot more national? Well, that's certainly what I would hope. I mean, there's, you know, I've discovered you, I'm sure you've seen the same thing in Washington. Inertia is an incredibly powerful force, and I think that's the biggest reason this wasn't done sooner, done more aggressively. Inertia? Uh, inertia, yeah. <laughs> Once you get around it, you show this could work, then right. people go, hey, you know, well, why aren't we doing that? Mm -hmm. And then people feel stupid for not doing it. Um, it's, and, and this, there's no cost to the government if the government were to undertake this. This is not like the HAMP, the HARP, all these things where there's a, you know, a taxpayer cost here. And in, in, in own to rent, I don't believe there would be. No, that's right. And I remember I was once on uh, Neil Cavuto's show, you know, you should have been on a show with Fox. You know, he was very conservative. And he's going, you want the government? Blah, you know, I go, no, I don't want the government to do anything here. I just want people to have the right to stay there as a renter. And then finally he goes, you know, that's really not a bad idea. <laughs> and then he sent me a note the next day saying, you know, I agree with you. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. So uh, a, a bipartisan solution and one that doesn't invoke uh, invoke a cost uh, uh, on the taxpayer side. Uh, thank you, Dean, for explaining uh, own to rent, and congrats. It's something I know you've been working on for a long time.